Hi everybody, welcome to another edition of G News, the only show where you get all of your gay in just one day with me, your host, Celsa Dulé. We have a special edition this week. It is our Easter edition. So not only do we have our regular breaking gay news, but we have Easter to-dos, must-knows, to help you be a well-informed Easter gay. I love a good tea bagging in my cup of tea. Since it's the Easter edition, we thought we'd class it up a bit and have tea instead of champagne. Don't you think that's reasonable? It also goes into our next story. The conservatives are at it again. They're making a mockery of themselves. This time, it's Mary Baker. She's the leader of the Conservative Moms of America, and she's also the speaker for the uh, Tea Party Express. Have some tea with that. Mmm, hot. Mm. This crazy bitch thinks that the, there's a gay supremacy, and the gay supremacists are worse than the white supremacists. We're the new Supremes, y'all. She thinks that gays are bullying the nation with their radical agenda. Um, and she actually believes that um, her hate mongering under the guise of her religion is somehow different than the hate mongering under the guise of the white supremacist religion. It's not a radical agenda, Mary. No, Mary. It's called civil liberties. Peter Larba Barra. He's the president of the anti-gay organization for Americans for the truth about homosexuality. He's one of those guys that actually thinks we can be cured. You know we're gonna find this idiot in some bathroom tapping his toe or at some hotel waiting for a rent boy. It's just gonna happen. He was asked to speak at the Sinclair Community College in Dayton, Ohio, and about his whole anti-gay rhetoric. Why they asked him to come and speak is beyond me, and apparently it's also beyond the students because they had a small little act of, of rebellion of protest um, for Mr. Barbera. They all showed up to the assembly to listen to him speak, and as soon as he started speaking, they all got up and walked out. <laughs> Here's a before and after picture of the hall, uh, full of students, and then as soon as he started speaking, and this idiot just keeps talking. Peter, hurry up, get back to the hotel. That rent boy meter is ticking. Money out the door. Make it rain. Last week, I let you all know about that crazy nun from uh, Tennessee, Sister Jane Dominic Laurel, and she was saying that if males who masturbate will become gay. She was asked to speak at the Charlotte Catholic uh, High School um, and they, in protest, created a uh, petition um, on change.org. Well, the petition has been taken down because um, Sister Jane Dominic Laurel has gone on a sabbatical from teaching for an undetermined amount of time. <laughs> All of her speaking engagements have been canceled and uh, her boss, the big sister up there, issued a notice saying, uh, yeah, she's, she's not going to be talking to anybody anytime soon. The people that posted the, uh, the petition on change.org said they took it down because they feel that they had achieved their goal. <laughs> so, we think you did too. This week, in addition to your regular gay breaking news, we bring you some Easter must-knows. Maybe you wake up on Easter and find out that your Easter trick is Jewish. Or you go all thorn birds and end up in the catacombs of some cathedral with a priest. What are you gonna do? It's kind of like being at a fancy dinner party and knowing which piece of silverware to pick up first. So we're here to help you. So you can be a well-rounded Easter gay. I'm gonna have some tea. Factoids, it's resurrection, not erection. It's like getting hard again. That's actually an Easter bunny in the park. It's a man dressed in, a, in an Easter bunny costume giving candy to kids. He's not a furry. You've been out way too long. It's time to go home and go to bed. Don't scare the children. Rolling Easter eggs is not a euphemism for anything. They actually are rolling eggs. Say you wake up in the morning with a Jew and it's Passover. Do you know that you're not supposed to eat bread? It's actually a trick question. You're not supposed to eat bread anyway. Put that bread down, that's an empty carb. You are, however, allowed to uh, replace wine with vodka crayon. I read it somewhere, it's kosher. It's my favorite time of the show, it's crush of the week. You might know this week's crush from the Steven Spielberg movie, War Horse. He was in that, he was fantastic. Um, if you could pay attention to any of the dialogue because he was so adorable. His latest project just recently released called Railway Man and he plays against Colin Firth and Nicole Kidman. But what we're most excited about is he just signed on to play in the new upcoming movie, Stonewall. My crush of the week is Jeremy Irvine. Look at him. Isn't he dreamy? He's just dreamy. He's only 23, but he's old enough to drink tea 
and go to war, or at least play in a war movie, and vote, so I think that's old enough. Before we go, I want to let everybody know about the, there's an event that happens in San Francisco, if you don't know about it. The Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence have an Easter celebration every year. It's usually in Dolores Park, but that's under construction, so this year they're having it in Golden Gate Park at the Speedway Meadow. Um, if, I have a link down to the Sisters site, so you can go down there and check it out to find out the information, or you can just go to the sisters.org. Um, so if you're in town, in San Francisco, come and join us. We're going to have fun in the park with the sisters. Uh, that's it for this episode of G News, the only show where you get all of your gay in just one day with me, your host, Celsa Dulé. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and to like. That way you'll never miss an episode. So have a happy Easter and make it a gay day. Bye, everybody.